Taylor Zarzer. Okay, I really only have three things that I'm going to do in this Hello hour. And welcome to the First rest of this hour is going to be up to you Golf Club. at 866-469-0026. You are in charge of the hour. I want to know who your captain's picks would be if you were Tiger. He's going to make those picks tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So what I need you to do right now is I need all of you to call 866-469-0026. Now, if there are tens of thousands of you that are trying to call, that's terrific. Um, I do believe that only nine of you at a time can get through, but I want to see how crazy we can make the phones go for Mr. Albanese, who is now back from illness. I might report, I'm, I'm glad to report uh, that he is no healthy good. enough to be yeah, here today. We are very concerned about him above your the last couple of days. But let's see shot. him go to work here with the phones, with your calls, on who your President's Cup picks would be, if you would include Tiger. If you're like Larry, you would say, sorry, Patrick Reed, you're sitting out because of what happened in Paris. Or you would say, you know what, I don't care what happened in Paris. The guy always wins. Even if he doesn't get along with anybody, he always wins. I want him on the team. So I want your picks. I want you to say, Taylor, take a deep breath. If you need to go get something to drink, let the dog out, fine, I've got it. I'm in charge now. I'm the captain. That's what I want you to do here this hour. 866-469-0026 is the number. I'm not giving it out again. It's up to you. I want to hear your captain's picks right now on the starter. Now, here are the three things that uh, I have to do. Number one is I need to constantly remind you that we're going to play Tiger's actual picks tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time here on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. So that's the first thing that I needed to tell you. Uh, let's see, what was number two? Oh, number two was I need to tell you what my picks are and what some of our other hosts' picks are. So you, so I'm going to give you my picks coming up a little bit later on in the hour. You're going to hear David Marr's picks. You'll hear Michael Breed's picks, people that think about these sort of things all the time. So that's coming up here in uh, in just a little bit. That drive was crazy. And uh, so that was the first two things. Then what was the last thing, John, that I was supposed to do? All right. The Champions Tour is having its championship coming up this weekend. PGA Tour champions. And I do want to give a, a quick word about that before we're out of here. So here we go. Wall to wall, folks. Your phone calls right now on who those President Cup picks should be tonight by tiger woods the captain's picks let's go to ron in the great state of iowa hello ron how are you guys doing today terrific how are you i i good good i'm glad yeah, to have, I don't know uh, if this has enough uh, mr albanese back i Me uh, too. yeah mine is uh, I, I hope i hope in the, the the way tiger would do it is uh my first one out uh, is uh, that you know he would choose would probably be uh, Tony Finau. Uh, next would uh, be Woodland. Uh, third, and you gave the answer for me. Uh, the reason why uh, would be Reed. And uh, the fourth, uh, I wish Tiger would do it kind of like Ernie did. This may not be a surprise to you, but I have been called dumb if I don't pick myself. So I'm picking myself. So that's my four. Hey, let me ask you this. Now, you you just said I outlined your reasons, but you could overcome what happened with Patrick in Paris. Do you think Patrick needs to address that, or would you say, hey, you know what, let's move on? That was a different team, <laughs> captained by Jim Furyk. It's not captained by Tiger Woods. If there's Just anyone in the world that Patrick Reed reveres, it's Tiger Woods. That's correct. And now he should leave well enough alone. Uh, same thing that Christina Kim should have done also. But anyway, uh, but uh, he should live well enough alone. Um, he could give some little speech. I'm here to help the team and, uh, you know, and go from there. But uh, I, we need, uh, I think the United States needs, and I think I love, uh, I think it's going to make it interesting with what Ernie done with those young guys. Uh, I said this before, uh, those young guys, some people think they do it all. 
all the time, but all right, they don't. Sitting right where uh, you but, should be. Like, so they pay an automatic score. Uh, and for that when one. it comes down to the end of the year, third hole coming uh, up, and take that your best thing, shot. It's, it's pretty intense <laughs> uh, match play uh, because it's national title. Uh, so, uh, but uh, you know, like I said, no, uh, Reed, just let it go. Uh, be there for the team. Uh, but I believe Tiger is going to pick him. The reason why is back to what he said, what, a year and a half ago. You're on the team. I think Tiger's uh, uh, a man now that of, of his word. Uh, wasn't they – I thought uh, one of you guys was uh, – uh, one of the people on the broadcast uh, here last week said something about Tiger had already promised Solid him or swing. had told him you're a lock. Uh, it was on one of your shows. It, you, I, it was me. It, it, it was me that said that, oh. um, Ron, last oh. week. And here's what Tiger right. tweeted uh, out. Looks like around 195 Let's see if we can get yards. It, it was uh, right game. after Patrick Reed won the Masters in April of 2018. Um, I'll get you the exact date. Um, this was in yeah April of 2018, right after Ty, after Patrick Reed won the Masters. He, now, of course, this was a year and a half ago, Ron, when he sent this out. So we do have Solid to be mindful swing. of how long ago this was. And I don't think that Tiger had any idea of how Patrick would be playing. But on April the 8th, 2018, Tiger tweeted, Congrats at P. Reed Golf. At worst, you have assured yourself of a captain's pick for next year's President's Cup. That was on April 8th, 2018, that he sent that out. I believe he's going to honor. Yeah, I I think many people believe that you're right. I think that's the – I think most people in the know – thank you for the call, Ron. I think most people in the know think that that is what's going to happen. That – and, again, who knows? No, Tiger's going to tell you tonight at 7, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, what people in the know think. But – um. Most people think that Ron's picks of Finau, Woodland, Reed, and Woods are going to be the four oh, picks. Oh, man. Nice. That Ricky Fowler's taking a break from golf right now, got married. All right, two under is your adjusted sticks, score after that hole. And, you know, ever since the Tour Championship nice ended, on that last hole. he's taking a big break from in the, the works game. here. Well, then... If that's the case, Finau, Woodland, Reed, Woods would be the next four guys on points that you could pick. Patrick's game is the one that I, I'm a little uneasy with because he, since he won at Liberty National, and it was a great win in August, he hasn't been playing his best golf. He's been playing okay, but he hasn't been playing his best. And now has been steady. Woodland Heading just showed us here. a couple of really solid performances over in Asia. And Tiger won. You know, all so green, but you still got those a lot would of be, work to do. Those, okay, all of those picks are justified. Feet out here. But given what happened in the team room with Patrick Reed and what he had to say afterwards about Jim Furyk and about the team situation, I think um, some are uneasy about this. I would say, though, if it were anyone else that didn't have the track record of success that Patrick Reed has, I would have a very hard time putting him on the team when you do things like that. But Patrick Reed has had these kinds of dramatic Ooh. moments and controversies with teammates for years. He had it as a college right, player at Augusta under, State. He, got, score he, he left four. Georgia. He went to Augusta State. He had these right, issues there, off and, and in the midst of those issues, they won consecutive national championships, riding the back of Patrick Reed, even if they weren't buddies with him. And it's been the same way as a professional player, too. So I can assure you Patrick's not going to have any trouble getting ready to play in Australia, no matter what anyone else on the team thinks of him or anyone on the other team thinks of him. So, and on top of that, he is, you know, he's not going to be a problem for Tiger Woods. Tiger's not going to put up with that. And Patrick reveres him. He wears red and black every, almost every day. Wears it on Sunday. It's been obsessed with Tiger forever. And he, they've become close. I, I don't, 
Unlucky. I don't Unlucky. see P. Reed okay, being Okay, you're in the rough, but at least you over there in the real Australia. deep stuff. I'm going to give you my picks coming up in just a minute. I want more from you, though. Let's load it up at 866-469-0026, and we will get your calls on this. Does anybody disagree with this? Would you say, hey, listen, I, I hear what you're saying, but Patrick Reed's not going to be on the team. Um, Larry in Texas called in a minute ago, and he said, I'm not putting him on the team. I don't want a guy like that on my team, especially given what happened in Paris. Ron says, I, look, I want to win. I don't think he's going to be a problem. He seems to love drama. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Is there anyone out there that doesn't, that thinks Tiger won't pick himself tonight? And are we think are we leaving some people out here in the process? Would you put a young gun on the team, maybe a Colin Morikawa, uh, a Cameron Champ, a Matthew Wolf? Would you put Kevin Na on the team? A lot of you out there like Kevin Kisner a lot. I do too. By the way, I think Tiger's going to have to make five picks. He'll make four tonight, but. I'm not so confident that Brooks Kepka is going to be ready to play in the President's Cup. So we'll uh, get your thoughts on all of that fights. coming up in just a moment as we go crazy with okay, phone calls this nice hour. 866 269 is the number. All of that is coming up on the starter. Get the best golf instruction here on Sirius 208 and XM92. The 2019 MLS Cup Final takes rivalry, takes rivalry to a new level, and the drama is on Sirius XM FC 2016. The Seattle Sounders, Toronto FC. Under the crossbar right down the middle, and Seattle will celebrate. 2017, revenge for the Reds. Pops gets the flex it in. There's the insurance goal. 2019, the rubber match. The MLS Cup Final, Sunday at 1.30 Eastern on Sirius XM FC 157. And anywhere you are on the Sirius XM app. You're in charge of hiring and indeed has solutions like online skills tests, which let a candidate show that they're the right hire. We'll also have a dolphin right, chatter excitedly in front of the perfect candidate. Goal. Okay, there's no okay, dolphin. Okay, it's time to send but this skills ball tests, on its way. That's a for sure. See why independent research by Silk Road shows Indeed delivers three times more hires than any other job site. Visit Indeed.com slash promo today and get a free sponsored job upgrade on your first posting. Terms, conditions, and exclusions apply. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, CEO and founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare contracts, and in the process started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. Timeshare is the only thing that you can buy that you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. When you buy a timeshare, you give them a blank check to fill out any amount and they want for annual maintenance and, and assessment an fees. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is this never ends. Stop the insanity today. Call my office nice. now. I guarantee and if we can't cancel here, your timeshare contract, you'll right pay nothing. Were you lied to when buying a timeshare and want out? Get the facts about timeshare cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free information kit. 800-517-1717. 800-517-1717. 800-517-1717. So are you the type of guy that wants to look put together but doesn't want to spend hours shopping? I hear you. This is why there's Stitch Fix, your personal styling service that delivers hand-picked clothes right to you. Stitch Fix is simple and convenient. Sign up in just a few minutes, try new styles in the comfort of your own home, and there's no subscription required ever. So, isn't it time to refresh your look? Get started today at stitchfix.com. Stitch Fix. Personal styling right. for everybody. Six under after that hole. Get your Very golf game ready school. for the tour with the best golf instruction anywhere. All right right Let's here let her on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. The Players' Championship is moving to March, and tickets are available now. There's no better time to plan your trip to Northeast Florida and golf's greatest stadium. Witness all the thrilling moments at the world-famous Island Green as the PGA Tour's best compete to become the Players' Champion. This March, it's all here at the Players' Championship, March 12th through the 17th. For tickets and travel packages, visit theplayers.com slash travel. In 
know, John Albanese just made a great point that we were reading Tiger Woods' tweet from April 8th, 2018, when Tiger said, congrats at P. Reed Golf. At worst, you have assured yourself a captain's pick for next year's President's Cup. That was after Patrick won the Masters in 2018. Two days later, Patrick Reed replied and said, thanks so much, bud, but you know me. I want to earn save it. par. And I guess that's up to everybody else on whether he's earned it. Now, one other thing that I noticed, let's just base all of this off of social media, John. That'll be a really smart thing to do. Um, there is one more thing that, that I found interesting, and that was a retweet from that Patrick had last December when there's a picture of Tiger with his arm around Patrick Reed. And it's a quote from Golf.com from Tiger saying, this kid's tough as nails. I'd roll okay, with six him. under any. after that one. That's your adjusted Now that's score. two months after the Ryder Cup. Okay, and all that happened. here we go. So do a lot of reading through the tea leaves there, trying to figure out what's going to happen tonight. Let's go to Chris in Florida. What do you think, Chris? Who would you put on this team? Well, I just... I think that I would go Kevin Knott before I would go Patrick Reed. I really would. Who would be, before you get into that, Chris, who would be your other picks? I mean, you would have to go Finau. You would have to go Woodland. And I'm not the biggest Tiger fan in the world. I'll be the, the one to say it. But I'll tell you what, you can't deny the way he's striking the ball. So I'd put Tiger, but I would put Kevin Knott before Patrick Reed. So I would have those four. Why Kevin Knott over P. Reed? For the reasons we've uh, mentioned? Before, Did you just use Thor's hammer? Well, for the reasons that you mentioned, <laughs> but I guess my, my, just my overall was a big question drive to you is this. I don't want to sound immature. I don't want to sound childish, but I, I ask one simple question. When do, I call okay, them we're colleagues, sitting at around do, 110 players, yards spectators, when do you finally kind of say enough's enough of the antics that have gone on with Patrick Reed ever since what you mentioned, college? When is enough's enough that you say, you know what, basically you're – you're prickish. You're a pompous prick. You're, you're, we don't really need that rapport for what you did in France. We don't need that on the team. You're not performing well. Yes, you, you've been a powerhouse throughout years and stuff, but you're not at that level right now. And it's just, I, I think that's just look my like question. Is, away, when do you say right. enough's enough? You haven't earned it. Forget the I'm Tiger's boy or something like that. You haven't earned it. I thought it, for sure you, you were heading for trouble with like that last ass, shot. Forgive uh, me for saying on the radio. But you proved me wrong. Sweet. When is enough enough? Well, I That's think those point. are all questions that are fair because, um, like you said, there have been moments throughout Patrick's life where um, he hasn't done a very good job of be being a teammate, at least off of the golf course he hasn't. But when it comes to on-the-course performance, he's been sensational. I would say this, Chris, from afar – and that's all we can do is, is judge this from afar. From afar, it seems like um, Patrick beats to his own drum. But here's the thing. if This is what I would do. Is if Justin Thomas, who I think a whole lot of, if Justin Thomas and Patrick Cantlay and Webb Simpson right, six under and Xander Shoffley and score. Bryson DeChambeau and Matt Kuchar and Dustin Johnson, and we have the ninth hole if those up. guys say, hey, man, I don't have a problem. Then if the, those guys don't have a pro if they're like, I'm good with, I've, I've been around them a bunch, if this is being overblown by the media and the public, it's not that big of a deal. If that's the way that Justin Thomas feels, then that should be good enough for all of us. If they can, if, if, they're, if they have peace of mind about putting them on the team, then I think all of us should. Because I think that they're wired just like we are. I don't think that. You know, they, they're going to let more slide than you are or I am. I think that they um, want accountability, and they don't want to be around the malcontent. But if Justin Thomas Looks like has you'll spent be in the short stuff so here. much time on the golf course with Patrick Reed and said, it's not a big deal. He'll be fine. And the guy's a bulldog. I want someone that battles like that. And you know what else? Tiger brings out his best. So let's put them together again. If, if that's the way that justin thomas feels and kepka and dj and the rest of the team feels then honestly that should be good enough for all of us let's go to mark in ohio mark how about your picks 
Hey, uh, Taylor, thanks for taking my call. Uh, quickly, uh, obviously, Tiger, he earned it. Um, I would go with Gary Woodland um, and um, Ricky Fowler. And who was my third pick? God darn it, I just had a mental block. Well, you so see, you had Woodland, Tiger, Fowler. That's your first three. Are Correct. you going F- Finau or are you going to go? Oh, Finau, exactly. Okay. No, I was going to go with Finau. You okay. read my mind. Now why now why Ricky Fowler, uh, Mark? Because listen, we all love Ricky, and he's been in one. He's he's been one hell of a teammate yeah, on every feet, team. Everybody says, up. "My gosh, you can play him with anybody." Everyone loves being around him. Seems that to bring the best out in everybody too. But you know, Mark, he hasn't been playing any. So why would you pick him? Well, for two reasons. Uh, one, because he hasn't been playing, I think he's actually going to be really revved up to play. Uh, specifically in this format. Uh, well, there's three things. Two, he is, as you already said, Taylor, he's, he's such a likable guy, and I think he brings a spree de corps uh, to, to, the, mm. to, to, the, to the locker room. And third, and I don't remember what Ryder Cup it was, but it was early on in his career. He was playing in the Ryder Cup, and he was getting his ass beat, and on the 18th hole, he made this putt. I think for a half. Okay, six and, under. Um, I don't remember what Ryder Cup it was. It eludes me, but I just remember that feeling. It's like this kid put got this some ball down big the fairway. Bonus. Um <laughs> And that's my. That's why. I I, I listen. That, those are great reasons, Mark, and um, I appreciate your call. You calling in and, and giving me your thoughts on this. Um, I I would just need to know how committed Ricky is to this Presidents Cup. If Ricky's like, hey, man, Tiger, I'm, I got to have a break from golf. I've been playing year-round. Uh, I need to get away. I need to take a little sabbatical. Then I think Tiger would say, hey, man, that's awesome. Good for you. I've, <laughs> Tiger's had, you know, numerous sabbaticals, though I don't think any were voluntary. Um, I think all of them were forced from injury. Um, if he's like, hey, man, that's great can't wait to see you come back then so be it um if that's the case then then i think everybody would would accept that but you're right about his about his record his record's been good nice swing. he's he's always been so successful in in these team events the, the other thing about him is while you put Patrick Reed Looks on like the team. Maybe there's one guy up. or two guys that you can play Patrick Reed with, for the reasons we just mentioned. You can put, you can put Ricky Fowler with twelve different guys, and and that's, you know that that's certainly a big deal. So, um, I'll be fascinated to see what in fact Tiger does tonight with these selections. Um, I wanted to go over the field at the hero because that could help also determine, you know, what what if, like, for example. Well, looks like this what may if, be for the example, deep stuff. Tiger says, all right, well, Ricky hasn't played any, so I'm going to pick Patrick Reed, Tony Finau, Gary Woodland, and myself. But he also knows that Kepka might not be able to go. DJ's going to play for the first time since the Tour Championship. Ricky is going to play for the first time since the Tour Championship. And then you've also got Kevin Kisner playing, who a lot of people would love to put on the team. He is fantastic in match play. He's a great college player in Georgia. I think this he was outstanding go. in the President's Cup two years ago with Phil. I'm not sure about the dance moves, Kiz. Uh, and then he won the match. He lost in the finals of the match play to Bubba last year, and then won it this year. So he's an outstanding match play guy. So if Kepka can't go, then maybe you pick between Kiz and and Ricky Fowler there at the hero, because you can go all the way to the end here with making that decision, saying, you know what, nice I'm going to wait and see what happens uh, in the hero. And see who I'm going to put on the plane. Seven under is where we're you don't have to tell anybody if Brooks is too banged up to go. You can and wait all, until that's you know, over with and say, guys, keep your sticks, this, get this ready is, to go uh, to Royal Melbourne. 11. So that could be another route with uh, with that 18-man field that they have at the Hero World Challenge. Let's go next to Ray in Texas. Hey, Ray. 
Okay, this is a little different approach to it. My philosophy is this. If I were Tiger, I would have a private meeting with Patrick Reed, and I would say to him, I'm not going to pick you for President's Cup. And tell him why. And then wait and see his, his reaction. If his reaction is Whoa, uh, you, uh, grown up and mature, that. then I'd say, I've changed my mind. You're in. It's just, uh, okay. just a way in okay. and thought from a philosophical point of view. You want to see some – you want to see – a, a humble moment from Patrick Reed is ultimately what you're saying, Ray. Yeah, as humble, as humble as he can be. I mean, everybody has different degrees of humility. But, yeah, as humbly, I want to see him say, you know, I understand. I'm sorry. It wouldn't happen again. I want to see some humility because I, I think he's the right player. I just don't know if his uh, attitude is, uh, is right for the team. But if he shows me that, he's in. Any reason to believe, Ray, that Tiger won't pick himself tonight? Uh, no. Yeah, I think nice. uh, all of us are pretty much on the same page there. Ray, thanks for the call. Again, I would hey, say are... this. I I don't think that it's like, hey, buddy, we hadn't talked in a while kind of deal with, with Patrick Reed. I think Tiger's pretty constant with his communication. He texts all these guys a lot, sees them in tournaments a lot throughout the year. And so I, I don't think that, you know, you need to sit somebody down and gauge their humility or, or their personality or have that kind of talk. I think Tiger is so connected to Patrick Reed that he has bites. a very good idea of what to expect, a better idea than any of us have and of what to expect. So, um, a long pot I, ahead of you. I, listen, I understand why so many of you have an issue with the guy and his inability through the years to be a team human being. But when it comes to this event, if the people on the team don't have a concern and or can get past whatever's happened, then all of us should be able to do that too. Let's go to Ron in New Jersey next on the starter. Hey, Ron. So just because the guy's not a brown noser doesn't mean he's not contributing to the team when he expresses opposition to what's happened. That's how improve amps. If, if Phil and Tiger hadn't done that a couple Ryder Cups ago when they got their okay, butts let's see kicked, what you can do with then his they wouldn't footer. have changed the format of how they pick and manage the team. So somebody has to come out and say hard things, and Pat's got the guts to do it. But, but beyond that, there's no way that a leader should be inauthentic with anybody that they're expected to lead. You don't bring a guy into the Great room and in set him up car. so that you can gauge him because that brings you down below his level, not at his level. You be honest with the guy and tell him what you expect of him score. and ask him if he wants to be on the team under those 12 conditions. Goal coming up. And Pat's going to tell shot. you, yeah, you're damn right I do. You know, um, it's interesting what you said because for as much criticism as Patrick Reed has received over what happened in Paris two years ago, Ron, Think about Phil Mickelson and what he said when they were in Scotland. When was that? That was 2000, uh, yeah, 2014 when he said Tom what he Watson. said. Now, to Tom Watson at the other end of the podium. Um, and the point is, is whether you liked the, the way that Phil said it or when he said it or whatever, right, the point is what yours is, green, which is here. sometimes – People have to tell the truth if they want a change to happen. And, you know, maybe that's part of what Patrick Reed's point was. So thank you for the call. Um, again, you know, I, I think of this. I mean, Jordan Spieth has no issue with Patrick Reed. Um, you know, maybe they're not going to be in each other's weddings. But in the but it, when they tee it up and compete as teammates, I don't, I don't think they have any issue. And if that's the case, if the case, look, if the guys, and I know Speed's not going to be on the team, okay, almost certainly won't be on the adjusted team. But if, after that but if the guys that are on the team, Justin Thomas, Don't be he's the first one that comes to mind. Uh, it's I just really hold see him 13. as a leader. It's just a number. If, Let's see what if can JT do. doesn't have an issue, if my team doesn't have an issue, then not then all of us need to get past that too. Let's go to David in Georgia next. Hey, David. Hey, hi there. Hey, uh, as far as picks go, I think Tony, Tiger, Woodland, and probably Kevin and Bob. But the, the one point that I, I heard Trip Eisenhower say the other night was, 
if uh, Brooks gets hurt and can't play, Tiger doesn't get a fifth pick. It goes that ball was to the launched next by point you. Getter. And I don't know if that's accurate or not. Maybe you could comment on that. You know, I need to get confirmation on um, on that, John. All right, Albanese. we're right around 125 um, yards out. That would make some out. sense if if that's the case. If that is the way that the the uh, the bylaws read, that you would go to who's next. Now, Finau's number nine, Woodland's number ten, Patrick Reed's number twelve, and Tiger's number thirteen. So if those are his four picks then that would mean if Kepka can't play, Ricky Fowler would automatically make the team. If for some reason be in the Fowler here. doesn't want to play, you know, I mean, he's not going to bail out of that. But then Ches Reeves 14, Kevin Kisner is down at number 15. If for some reason there's another health issue, if DJ's knee's not ready, then, you know, I guess a, a Ches Reeves would come into play. But I'll, you know what, we'll take a break here and we'll confirm that. That's a great question. That Daniel asked there. Um, we have more comments from David Marr and from Michael Breed about who these selections should be. I haven't heard this, so I'm really excited to hear their picks, and I'll also give you mine coming up on the starter. Major champions Greg Norman, Ben Crenshaw, and Craig Stadler can be heard right here exclusively on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. Okay. On the 17 Weeks Podcast, NFL stars give their raw and unfiltered opinions okay, on issues they don't discuss in press conferences, in like way. Jalen Ramsey wanting out of Jacksonville. I called my agent and said, my time is up here in Jacksonville. I said, I, I want to ask for a trade. The Jets' Le'Veon Bell defending his QB from ghosts. The whole soundbite thing, I think they they sound wrong simply because maybe they don't fully understand what he meant. New episodes drop Thursday on the Sirius XM app. Just search 17 weeks. When backyard fun in the sun moves indoors for game day watch parties and, and family get togethers, you, you know fall is finally here. Make sure your home is all set to impress with SelectBlinds.com. Interior designers agree that one of the easiest nice. ways to improve your home's appearance is by upgrading your old blinds, shades, and shutters. Select Blinds makes ordering blinds online simple and easy. Select and order high quality, easy to install blinds, shades, and shutters today. Select Blinds takes the guesswork out of ordering blinds online by offering high quality blinds for an unbelievable price. Read more than 300,000 reviews from 1 million happy customers at selectblinds.com. It's easy to see why they've been featured on TLC, HGTV, and Netflix. To get the best deals on blind shades and shutters, shop today at selectblinds.com. Remember to mention Great our show content. at checkout using the drop-down menu. Let selectblinds.com upgrade your home today. Selectblinds.com. America is a special place. It's a place where we work for what we want and speak up for what we believe. Where we have the power to change the course of our nation and the world. Every four years, we make a choice for ourselves, for our families, for our future. We do something most people across the globe only dream of. Democracy 2020. It's in your hands. Fox News. America is watching. Imagine a financial advisor who's a true partner in your success. I'm Mike Schrader, president of Baird Private Looks Wealth like Management. For 100 years, our financial advisors have kept clients' interests first All right, 14 in everything we do. We listen to what you want to accomplish and help you make smart decisions in all areas of your financial life. You and Baird, imagine where we can go together. Visit Baird100.com. That is a great question that uh, David in Georgia just asked about if you have to take the next points getter, the next best points getter, if Gepka can't play or if a Dustin Johnson can't play. Um, I'm going to get confirmation on that as soon as possible. I've reached out to several people I think that are in the know on this, and I'll get confirmation on that um, here shortly. So I'm going to give you my picks, John. All right, In nine under. You're, you're still going to have to wait. Albanese keeps asking me during breaks about uh, who okay, my picks are, but I'm going to announce it on the air in a few minutes because I want to yield the floor to uh, David Marr. I'm looking at my top audio sheet, John. I have not heard this. Uh, I want to hear 
what David Marr would do and what he thinks Tiger is going to do. Let's listen. You know, as I take a look at the four selections, clearly I got Tiger Woods as well. I don't think with Gary Woodland and his recent, uh, the way he's played recently and the U.S. Open win, I don't think you can keep him off a U.S. team. He's your U.S. Open winner. I think you've got to have him on the team. Then the next person I think you have to have on the team is going to be nice approach. Tony Finau. This because I think Tony, uh, being number ninth in the points, he almost earned his way on the team and almost is not an automatic as far as this game is concerned. But to pick four players who were uh, behind him in the points, I think you've got to go a long way to try and figure out how to justify each of those selections. Then you take a look at Reed, and you take a look at Ricky Fowler as well. Ricky Fowler and Jordan Spieth as well, but Jordan is, is well down the world golf rankings list. He's at number 42, though starting nice. to come back a little bit. Has shown some signs of life. Can this be one of those... And after uh, that hole, we're sitting at 10 under. Hats on the back, Justin let's say. Score. Put your arm around the player. Where a captain says, look, nice I believe you regardless of what the hole. local let's see the another recent, one. Uh, flavor and form has been. They did that with Darren Clark on the Ryder Cup uh, about a decade or so ago. And Lee Westwood said it doesn't really matter what his form is out on the golf course during regular tour events. Ryder Cup form stays. So he'll have international team play form when he comes back and plays for the Ryder Cup. Maybe the same thing with Jordan Spieth. I'm not sure he goes that deep in the World Golf Rankings or the points list as well. I think it comes down to uh, Patrick Reed, and it comes down to Ricky Fowler. Now, Ricky Fowler doesn't have a tremendous record when it comes to President's Cup. 6-10-6 and six is his President's Cup record. And international team play just hasn't been – he's been on a lot of teams. It's hasn't good. Uh, contributed a lot, a lot of meaningful points. Um, Patrick Reed has, but, again, Patrick Reed – it depends on how Tiger experienced his time with Patrick Reed in so France. So we have about 165 yards to go still. Yeah, I think that it is. It's, it's interesting to see what's going to happen with that last pick. Um, it sounds like David thinks it's going to be Tiger, Tony Woodland, and probably Patrick Reed, but um, it, he is taking you through the decision on, on what Tiger will do tonight, whether it's Fowler or whether it is Patrick Reed for that final pick. I think almost all of us are expecting Tiger Woodland and Tony Finau, that those are the locks here, that who is that last guy? Is it Reed? Is it Fowler? Is it someone else? Are you ready for me to make tell you my picks, John Albanese, on who I would put in? Yeah, just don't go to break. Just go with it. I'm not going to. I'm going to send it instead to uh, Michael Breed from a new breed of golf. Killing me who is going to now predict who Tiger's captain's picks will be. I think we're going to do what we did with the internationals. I think we're going to go three for four. So since you've got Reed in there, and we have the same, basically the same picks, I don't, I, the, the question is, is it going to be, for me, Kisner, or is it going to be Ricky Fowler? I'm going with Ricky. Do you think Reed's no question out? I think. And I, after that hole, we're sitting at I 10 under. I think, I think Patrick score. Reed has said and done some things. All right, let's pop this in the fairway. I think that Kevin Kisner is just so well liked. Like, now, look, I know he's 33rd in the official World Golf Rankings, and I know Patrick Reed is 15th. I understand that. And I understand Patrick is Captain America. I understand that, too. Ranked higher than everyone on the international team. I, I'm, I'm with you on that as well. But I do believe that there is that part, and we don't know exactly what took place, but I think there is that part where you go, hey, you know what? Kids is, you know, he's just, he's kids. Everybody loves kids. Yeah, everybody loves kids. I got, I got two counterpoints for but you. I, but what I am saying is I'm going with Ricky because I think Ooh. Ricky's going to play. So I, my four are Tiger, Tony, Ricky, and Gary. The seven dwarfs. So yeah. I got Tiger, Tony, Ricky, Gary, and Doc. <laughs> 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 um, all right. Well, I want to hear a little more from, from Breeder here, uh, John. He, he gave you the rationale but behind why he thinks Ricky Fowler will get picked. Ricky Fowler, a concern of mine with Ricky Fowler is that he hasn't played at all. And, and to me, are you earning your spot on the team when the captain, Tiger Woods, has played more than you in the wraparound season? So I, I understand marriage and everything. I, I get and all we're that. from he hasn't played feet out. once. So 
it, that is a difficult pick for me for a guy that didn't make the team. Uh, does he know something that we don't? He and Tiger are buddies. It's very possible that that he knows something. That well, I what's don't, surprising but. to me is is that, and uh, let's first start with this. He's twenty first, I think twenty first in the official World Golf ranking. So, right, and you talk about likability, you talk about talent levels, you talk about his no ability, question. and he won in two thousand nineteen. Right, so that that to me, those all have values. If you look at the success that he had this past year, nearly four million dollars. 20 events, made 18 cuts, 11 top 25s. So he is what I would say he's reliable. He I have is no question about 100%. That. So it doesn't – he's not the kind of guy – I don't think Ricky Fowler is sitting down there in and Florida playing to the under. I, I just don't think score. he's doing that. I think Ricky is is Ricky. Hole number 18. And he's hitting balls and he's doing whatever he's doing. And maybe the time that he's taking off that people are saying he's going to take some time off has already happened. But I look at this whole thing, and I think that at the bottom of this, if you're an American team and you're Tiger Woods, and Tiger Woods looks at that team and he goes, I want Ricky Fowler playing, and he picks up the phone and he goes, Ricky, I want you to play. He is in the Hero Challenge as well. I, I think Ricky Fowler is going to play. And the other thing is I think that if Ricky wasn't going to play, he would have said, you know what, I'm going to shut it down a little bit, and I'm not going to play. Good stuff from that Greg Ducharme and from Michael Breed on a new breed of golf. Heard from 8 to 10 in the mornings, Eastern Time, here weekdays on Sirius XM, PGA Tour Radio. Okay. So boats, uh, I, I think, to me, there is to a really here. simple solution to the whole Fowler or Patrick Reed talk if it comes down to those two. Who knows? Maybe Tiger's thinking this very differently from everyone else. I don't think he is. My picks are very similar, John Albanese, as to the ones that we have heard on this show today. I, I wish that I could mix it up and say Kevin Na is going to make it, fairway, but or right. Tiger's going to say, just when you thought it was over, Phil Mickelson will make that. I mean, I, I wish he would do something that would be make our jaw drop tonight, but I don't think he's going to. I think that it's going. there's not going to be a tremendous amount of drama. What I would say is this, is let's go through this. Tiger Woods is ranked seventh in the world. He just won in Japan. If, if it isn't Tiger Woods making the announcement, if it's anyone else in the free world that was the captain of the team, they would easily stand up and say, Tiger's in. He just won in Japan. Okay, Great to see him playing like this top. again. Excited to have him back on the team. He's headed to Australia. I know it becomes a little different when you're announcing yourself, but I, I to me, it's a no-brainer. The next guy to me that's a no-brainer is Tony Finau. Tony Finau played really good golf in France while the rest of his team didn't last year as a Ryder Cup rookie. I think you got to put him back on the team again. L let this guy continue to be a team guy in these environments as he prepares for Wisconsin. I think he gives you the best chance to win, too. He's such a steady Ten player, under at the end of especially your round in a four-ball four competition. Think about how good Tony Finau would be at that. So score at the I'd end have